All right, man, let's get it. Let's get it. Today we're gonna talk about how I started my box truck business. What I did. First, what I did, I applied for my LLC. My LLC, my business name is Hoss and Carriage LLC. And after that, I applied for my EIN number. All that stuff you could do by yourself. You don't need anyone to do that for you. And then I bought a truck. I found that truck is a 2012 Max Force engine. Most people don't really like that Max Force engine, but I had to get it, man, because I wanted to get a truck that was in good condition, good shape. I took it to the mechanic. It was minor stuff, but nothing major. Nothing major to worry about. So I went ahead and bought that truck. I spent twelve thousand for it, cash. So I don't have a ca I don't have a note on that truck. It's all cash. So it's all profit. Well, not profit. I wish to recoup my twelve thousand first, and then call it profit. You know. And you know, so I started working on my MC and my DOT as well to get my complete my authority. But one of my friends told me like, "Hey man, you don't need to do all of that. Just get your DOT, and you don't need to get everything. You don't have to have a full authority to drive within your state. You know, so if you're going out of state, then you need all that stuff. So you don't need to put spend all that money right now because it costs a pretty good penny to have." Do they have everything going for insurance and everything? Insurance costs a lot of money. That's the main thing. The coverage, insurance coverage is a lot of money on a on a commercial vehicle. So that's what I did. I went ahead and get that, my DOT number. And I started running locally in the Houston, Texas area. So I'm slowing down, man. This is a cop right here that's waiting, waiting for somebody. Okay. All right, make, make a move, but he's not coming. All right, let's go. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I did that. Bought the truck. Got some insurance on the truck. Stop moving local loads out here in the Houston area and that's what's up man that's how I'm able I've had the, I've had the truck for maybe four or five months now and that's how I've been able to kind of have create some contacts and met some friends and as well as join some Facebook for, um, groups out there like you know box truck groups on Facebook to just ask questions and inquire you know information about people in the same area where you at you know so those are the things you should you should do man to to um to to grow your business you know inquire information stuff that you don't know people will give you the information for free on facebook uh, even the youtube stuff as well and that's how i started my box truck so i got on with this company and they are paying 75 percent of the load of, of whatever freight that they got to you 75 percent of the freight okay so it's a 75 25 split dispatch so I did that I'm doing that and I also have a friend I met him through somebody else and basically what he's doing he's just basically like hey man if you're available just let me know I got loads and he'll pay me like man something simple a hundred two hundred dollars just to move something simple for him I'm like hey man go move this go I don't have time go get this and basically I think he just gives me he gives me the, the um the freight completely if I do it he just give me the full price because he pays me pretty good a hundred two hundred dollars for small stuff man he'd be like go get it and he'll give me like three four five of them a day you know so I'll make in a day I'll make five hundred dollars you know six hundred dollars working working the box truck 
so it's pretty good man it's pretty lucrative it's pretty good if it's some if box truck is something that you're trying to get into man it's pretty it's a pretty lucrative thing basically logistics anything shipping is good you get a semi you could get a a van i see a lot of guys like for the company i'll be i'll be rolling for a lot of guys drive a sprinter a van doing hot shots you know what i mean and i never asked them how much they're making or whatever but i'm pretty sure they it worth their time because they're doing it in the in a van so you know we'll talk about it man we'll talk about it more how you know i mean how i started and how i got it going so i'm pulling up at the at the yard i'm about to get the truck so we can roll out all right so stay tuned guys stay tuned All right, man, I'm in the yard. Everybody go get it. Everybody go get it. Early morning. Well, it's not early, man. I leave around 8.39. It's eight, like 8.45 right now. 8.50. I got to cut off at 10 o'clock, so I got to pick up something right up the street, 15 minutes away from my house, and take it eight minutes to the airport. All right. So there we go in the morning. What we do, minor maintenance on the car, on the truck. We check your tires. We check your oil. Check your lift gate. Check your, your belt. Get started, man. The old Max Force, yellow. 2012, guys. So it's in good condition, good shape, man. So. I haven't had major issues with it. I've had it for a few, a little while. And the guy that I got it from, the island guy, so. So just stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Subscribe to the channel, man. Share it. And like it. Let's get the channel going. Let's grow that channel. Share it with your friends. If you're in the Houston, Texas area, you got any question or you need anything, man, hit me up. I'll be more than glad to point you in the right direction. So, we on the road. I have seven loads already set up. Each of them paying 60 bucks. Seven times sixty, so you make the math, man. And I'm taking it only ten minutes away. I'm picking it up fifteen minutes from my house, taking it ten minutes. And also, that's something I forgot to mention, man. Whenever I go to deliver stuff, I get paid for wait time. All right. So if I'm out there waiting more than thirty minutes, while I'm dropping it off, I hit those guys up and let them know, hey, I need it. I need some wait time money. They'll set me up for wait time. Well, at least one of the company does that, and I do a friend. I have a friend that I, I run for, not him. But the company I run for, they'll pay me wait time. So I go over there, wait. And typically it's not, you don't wait them that long. 30 minutes depends on how bad it is. On the weekends it's bad, like Friday, like tomorrow. Today and tomorrow might be bad. But other than that, it doesn't be a bad man. We're at the airport, we're at the different airlines. We believe it um, is free. So, it shouldn't be that bad. But, yeah, I get the wait time, so it's a good thing. If you guys need anything and you're in the Houston, Texas area, hit me up. I mean, you know, leave a comment or whatever on this, and, you know, I'll reach out. So let's get it, man. Today we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, a few more things that I do out here in the box truck. So let's let's keep it going. It's nice being outside, man, in the daytime.
still got those boxes on here yesterday. We weren't able to deliver them. Yep, but I'm at the bay, guys. Get ready to get loaded up. Truck's empty. New day. Getting ready. Yep. Let's go. Let's get it. Over here, the company I run for, we have delicated run, so that's how we're going to do it today. All right, guys. I got my load. I got my paperwork here. And I am heading eight minutes away from the airport. Already on JFK for the bar. Um, heading to the airport. Yeah, yeah. 
second load right up the street well it's that one was 15 minutes away from where I was at from the airport so I'm going to pick it up and heading back to the airport I have a couple of them to pick up and I'm heading back to the airport but easy breezy man nothing anybody can do if you're about making some money for yourself a gas like this came on I get some diesel Yeah, he didn't give me all yeah. Money right there, baby. 